since last we talked, a lot has happened. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, let's rewind to Thursday. Uh, it was raining Thursday night, and uh, I was told by the guy who was removing the chase and getting some drywall up and everything that there was a leak. Uh, there was a leak up in the ceiling where the chase exited the roof. Uh, it decided that, you know, there was daylight. It was <laughs> very amusing the next morning when the uh, roofing guy came in and I came in here and I told him the story, told him what was going on and brought him in here and showed him up there. And he goes, I see daylight. And I was like, oh, yeah, now that it's daytime and not nighttime and raining, I see it too. <laughs> so we were initially going to try to use that chase to, or not the chase, the hole out of the roof uh, with the vent to vent the fan, the two fans from the bathrooms. But now it looks like I'm going to have to get an HVAC person in here to properly vent it. That's not a huge deal. I know that one thing or the other was going to happen. I'd rather have one fewer hole in the house to not have to worry about. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm glad that it was raining on Thursday and not um, dry because we would have never seen that. Uh, so Friday, they lost most of the day because we had to wait for the roof guy to get in. Uh, he had that patched up by the time that I went and picked up Riley or by the time that I got back rather. So that was pretty awesome to have that done. Uh, I was able to have matching shingles or as close to matching as possible because, uh, as you may have recalled up here, there was a similar leak issue. And when that company had removed the, uh, or repaired the roof, they were kind enough to tell me what shingles they used. So they finished that last night. Uh, I was woken up at 7.56 this morning uh, by the drywall guy. I was not expecting him at 8 o'clock. Uh, I had asked the guy the night before what time he was planning on getting here, and he did say 8, but... The last couple times when they said eight, they arrived at 10. So I was in a deep sleep. I, I was having just, you know, the most wonderful dreams. And all of a sudden I'm like, ding dong. And the puppy dog starts barking. And uh, I tried to uh, get myself downstairs as quickly as possible so that he's able to uh, get in and do his work. So. Yeah, I was a little off kilter this morning to the point when I went to QT to go get gas, uh, I subconsciously pulled into a parking space. And as soon as I hit park, I was like, I'm supposed to be getting gas, not going in there. <laughs> so that was kind of amusing. Uh, but then today they finished up all the drywall. They've got the shower bed in there. So that is going to be a really nice size shower from what I have. There's a nook in there. They've got all the drywall repairs done and the first layer of mud on. So yeah, this is gonna go pretty nicely. Uh, I didn't hear if they were gonna come back tomorrow to do sanding or if they're gonna wait until Monday. Uh, I see that there's a bit of quick creep on the ground. So I'm assuming that's because my floor isn't level. Then again, whose floor really is level? So, yeah, that is the current status of everything. Uh, I was going to give you an update, or I was going to do a film update Thursday evening, but that light wasn't working. Uh, my electrician happened to be in the area, and he was fixing something else while stuff was open uh, before they finished closing it up, and... I mentioned that it was not working, and he goes, what do you mean it's not working? And he came in here, he flipped the light switch a few times, and then started working. And I said, well, now it is. And he was confused, and then he told me that he pulled the lights from the old fixture that was here. And I said, ah, that explains it. He must have grabbed one of them that was dying. 
So we swap this and now we have a working light until we get uh, whatever permanent light is supposed to be in there. So uh, that's why you didn't get a double story for me. Uh, but with this being Saturday, I'm hoping that this is the end of weekend work and I get to play with fabric for the rest of the weekend. Uh, so I will get an update hopefully as tile starts. Actually paint's probably coming up next. That would make more sense. Paint and then tile. So yeah, we will see. Until next time, take care.